Well, all of it, yep. And now go back to home. And you see it's Calibri 9. Well, that's not nearly big enough. So, um, we can choose this one. Strong. Strong? Yeah. Yeah. You can just click there. Right. You can make it a bit bigger. If you click on the A, that one there. No, the, the, this, this one there. The, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Insert caption, figure two, growth of the Brazilian car market. Imagine we have a nice picture of, of the car market sort of growing like this. Right? The growth of the Brazilian, of the Brazilian.
Okay. And now figure two. Um, so let me just do a return there. Sorry, sorry. I want to just introduce figure two. Right, okay. So, uh, figure two. shows the growth since 1985. <coughs> 19, whatever, no, 2000. Okay, okay, right, good, good report and so on, so the trouble is, what if you're writing this report and then you come back to it the next day, as you should do, and you say, ah, oh, happy with that, but I think that I should talk about the growth rate first, and then we'll talk about the nature of the car market. Okay, so we're going to muck around with the structure of your report, okay? which is what happens. You might do it, and that's good if you're reviewing, or you write the report, and you discuss it with your boss, and your boss says, yeah, I think it's a really good report, I like this, but I want you to move this section up to another part. Well, it's no problem, is it? In in word, okay. So now let's move uh, all of figure two, including the picture, before figure one, okay. So highlight from the side, that'll do, okay. Control X to cut. Yeah, no, sorry, highlight the whole thing, yeah. Control X, now move up to here. And it's before here, right there, yeah. Not there, now press Control V for paste. And there we have this picture, right? You've highlighted the picture. The trouble is, of course, that this figure is now not figure two, is it? It should be, if we now, yeah, this should be figure one. Hang, hold on, yeah, but this isn't correct, is it? So, I want you to highlight that. Ah, <coughs> uh, there you go, let me highlight that, so just the line. Um, actually, Oh, right. You you changed. Did you what did you do then? I just changed it. Uh, you you went in and changed it. Can you just press Control Z and we we'll go back to where we were? Because I don't know what you've done there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you know? Right. Can you just see the here? You should get used to this in word, that this is a electric, this is a grey background there, right? That means that it's not the word that you typed in. It's generated by, by the computer itself, by word, right? Okay. You went in and changed this figure one too, didn't you? Yeah, okay. But it actually, before that, it said figure two, didn't it? Okay, so if you hadn't changed it, um, it, it would have said that. And that's what it did say before. Okay. Now, the question is that we want it to, it's not updated itself, is not it? And yet we move stuff around. And this happens with big reports. You, you take out or you introduce an extra picture. Or you, you, you want it all to be renumbered. Right, okay. What we need to do then is to uh, update this and update this. <coughs> Because these are switched around. Yeah? So, you want to know how you do that? Highlight it. And then you can right click on that. You see, update theorem? Yeah. And then it, right. But actually, what you could have done, just press Control Z again. <coughs> and it goes back to that, yeah. Now press Control A. Be very careful pressing Control A because this activates all of the document. <laughs> and if you then press Delete, <laughs> you lose the whole document, right? Okay. I mean, you can go back and right, recover it, but be careful with Control A. Now you see that everything's highlighted in grey. Now press. 
F9, which is, and it updates everything. It updates the figure number, the table numbers, page numbers, and everything. So it do the whole table. Right? Um, no, sorry, I uh, chose the wrong uh, option there. Uh, update the entire table, yeah. Right? <coughs> it's still not done it. Right? <laughs> right. Oh, what's going on there? Then? Um, Ah, oh, this bigger one. Yes, sorry, that's right. Oh, sorry, I lost it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now the trouble is that we've got a problem here because that says figure two, and this is now figure one. And it refers to that. All right. There is a way around that, which is if we go into references. <coughs> in text here, figure two, we delete that and we press insert cross-reference, figure, uh, growth of the car market, the label and number, yeah, okay, and then that's that, okay. So we've then got it correctly labeled. So this is called a cross-reference and that is called a caption, right, and you can just tidy it up all the way all the way through. Okay? And that's part of when you put a picture in, you should do this. Introduce, show and explain. The introduce should have a cross-reference to the caption number and you should put a caption for all of your pictures. Right, we're I think we're almost almost done there. Um, I think the last thing that we'll talk about is how to well how do we insert uh, tables uh, fairly clear? Do you want to have a go back? Come and insert a table somewhere. It's not there, but there. Come down, come down there. Yeah, put in a put in a, a table here. <coughs> insert table. Just click on that. Now, if you click and drag, let's have four columns and twelve or seven rows. Right? Okay, that'll do. Okay, you've got a table there. Uh, if you want this one to be quite short, quite narrow, what do you do then? Well, you're just going to move that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, you wait till the cursor is like that, and then you move the whole thing sideways. Okay, but go, go. yeah, that's it. Move. No, let's just right. Stop. Uh, come out. Now come. <laughs> right. Now this is cursor control. But if you go to the top line, you see that there. That is what you want. So this is fine cursor control to so grab hold of that. Now slide it to the left a bit. Yeah, a bit more. A bit more. Yeah. Okay. So you can alter your columns to be as wide as or as short as you uh, as you want it. Right. Okay. Uh, we've only got four rows. How do we add some more rows? If you highlight, say we want seven rows, so I'll tell you what, we've got four at the moment. Yeah. All right, there's, there's, all right, that's a new command, I didn't know that. That's a new version of that word. Right, okay. If you want to add 20 rows, or whatever, you can highlight a whole load of them. You see how this, yeah, that's it. Now uh, you can press, if you right click on that. Ah, it's 
doesn't get mentioned. <laughs> right, okay. Normally it's uh, uh, insert rows, yeah. Yeah, insert rows above, rows below. Okay, so you, you can add, you know, 10 more rows or whatever you want, more columns, more right, if you wish to. Yeah, great. Okay, nice table. Um, okay. Um, oh, put a, put a heading in here. Um, I don't know. Blah, blah. So what do we want to do? We want to make the, the column heading stand out, don't we? Okay. Well, anyone know what we can do? Yeah, um, we can highlight it and then, I mean, for the title, yes. heading, we can highlight it and uh, bold the words and like... Yes, hold on. Uh, now, you're, you've highlighted the whole thing here, okay? So whatever you do now is going to affect everything in the table. So if you thought that the, it was too small a font, that would be a good thing to do. Raise the font of everything up there to, to be bigger. All right. But if we just want to make the heading stand out, as um, Charlie said, click and drag to highlight that column, that row. Yep. Okay. Now um, we can put it in bold. We can make it bigger. Yeah, bold. Um, make it uh, 12, 15 point. I don't know, 14 point, something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Right, okay. You see this yellow thing? If you go to the right of that, no, just the little arrow there, uh, put in a gray or like that, and you can, no, well, that's not, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, let's, I'll tell you what, let's, let's undo that. Control Z. Right, so let's say we've got that. Highlight that, and then right click. And you see that paint box there, shading? Click on that button. And put in a 15%. Yeah? This one? Or a bit lighter. Bit lighter. Yeah, that'll work. Right, if you come out of that, now you see it looks and that will look good on a black and white printer, and you can very clearly see what the headings are, and so on. Okay, um, one little trick. If you put in a few more headings, we come down to... Um, no, where have we gone? Right, well, it's just... Now, stop, can you see there? Here's our heading, and then there's our table. And there, if you go down a bit, just to move the cursor down, We've got a page break there, okay? <coughs> it would be nice to have proper column headings here, wouldn't it? Otherwise, we don't know what, if there's a number there, we don't know what it refers to, okay? Uh, so, highlight the heading row. And then, if we go into uh, design, no, layout. And, Repeat header rows. All right? Okay. Come down. It does it automatically. So make word work for you. Make it make it look neat. You know, word can do all these things. So make it look neat. All right? Okay. Uh, final thing then. Um, right, you want to write out everything? Well, I'll change some words. I want to work. You want to? You want to? <laughs> Table 
Um, sideways, <coughs> landscape. At the moment, this table is like this, but actually I want this table to be like this. Okay. Now, does anyone know how we might do this? Turn the screen. Turn the screen. Turn the screen. It's not on the iPhone. It's not on got to do is to tell Word that I am going to have several sections here in my report. And this bit is going to be one section, which is going to be this way up. And then I'm having a new section, section two. And section two is going to be sideways. And then I'm going to go back to another one, which is the portrait way up. And that's going to be section three. Okay. So these are called section breaks. So am I clear what we're going to do? We're, we're telling Word that our document is in three parts. Right? The first part, section one, the second part, section two, section third part, section three. Okay. So let's suppose we come to here in the report. So can you just do control Z? Control Z. Control Z. Right, now we've gone back to our portrait document. The whole document is like this. But we come to this bit and we want to turn this um, sideways. Okay. I'm going to uh, actually <coughs> knock that onto the whole page. Right, okay. Oh, that's in the head. I keep on getting confused. But there we go. That's in the head. So here, we're in the section that we want to, that is at the moment like this, and we want to turn it sideways. Okay, so, we're going to insert. And then, no, it's not, well, uh, no, it's not, we don't want a page break, actually. Let's go to page layout then, so we can find it there. No, all right, it's about the design then. Oh, no, sorry, break, page layer, breaks there. You see that? Break. Right, okay. Now, we want a section break. So let's go continuous. There? All right. And now, it, no. Where are you? Where are we moving? There. Right, I think we go there. Let me just move the cursor back from there. What section are we in? I'm just trying to see. Sometimes it tells you down the bottom in Word's version of the Word, it tells you what section we're in. Right. Um, now, can you put, or go back to orientation and turn this sideways? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, 
testing that's work. I think we've got the very reverse of what we want. Thank you. 